and welcome <laughs> to the Noted Podcast. I am Daniel, the squeaky voice, and joining uh, me is the laughter, Eric. That is me. Hello. Um, and on last week's episode, we talked about Avatar. We did a quiz. Da, 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 da. Da, da. <laughs> we're gonna do um a quiz. Uh, we're gonna do a versus battle where we get to choose our selected fighter. From, from the element that we got yes and eric and i discussed it because the difference between my two quizzes was the friendship choice of yes. what my friends would describe <laughs> me as i let eric choose what what of my two results he thinks describes me better the, yeah the free-spirited one which got me earth or yep. the the hot-tempered one which got me fire yeah and then it literally gonna... came down to one question and it was yeah. just are you associated with being warm, like hot-headed, ha-ha jokes, you know? And then... Free-spirited like... for Earth didn't make sense, but we'll take it. I mean, it. I kind of, I mean, sure, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we chose the, the hot-tempered one, so my yep. choice is fire, and then uh, our homeboy over there is going to have to choose from air, but because we don't want him to have the avatar, we're including core characters. Yes. So you can choose Zaheer, Tenzin, or uh, Janora. Uh, Janora, if he wants or to be. Boomy, or Boomy, you know? Or, 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 I mean, if you want it to be an easy dub for me, then you choose Boomy. I'm, um, dude, he's got a whole military behind him. Okay, you we're know? not we're not choosing <laughs> the biggest. Honestly, the biggest <laughs> asset Boomy has is his dumb luck. Yeah, dude, he can dance this <laughs> machina out of the way. <laughs> yeah, the man rolls in that twenty on luck checks every fucking time. Yeah, that's the his his <laughs> dice are loaded. It's fine. <laughs> um. Okay, but I uh uh, what's your choice for your um, your combatant? My combatant is. I think I really only have one choice here, but I'm actually going to pick a character that I don't know, like, anything about <laughs> and just say, kind of, fuck it. And I'm going to pick Janora. Oh, I thought you were going to choose Tenzin because Tenzin's the best. No, Tenzin's airbender. a badass. He's a badass. I mean, <laughs> he did get beat up by Zaheer, so, you know. Uh, actually, in the 1v1 fight with Zaheer, he kicked his ass. It took the whole Red Lotus to beat up Tenzin. Thank you very much, but whatever. Can I change? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, are would, you I, I are mean, you... I, I honestly, I don't care. I mean, I feel like all of them are respected, like respectably badass. Yeah. Um, I know that Janora probably wouldn't beat Zuko, but I don't think Janora's. I don't think Janora would beat Zuko. I don't think Zaheer would beat Zuko. I think you the don't best chance think is Zaheer. Tenzin. You don't think Zaheer would beat Zuko? No, like a, because... like a child Zuko. No, I'm talking the end of season three Zuko. You don't think that he would beat him? No, because so Zaheer's airbending is kind of sloppy. He 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 uses it with his like martial art combat, and your boy Zuko has that shit on lock too. Like the man is acrobatic as fuck. He literally break dances when he does fire bending. I mean, sure, but, and you know, so, there's like, also a I guy like... who could just, like, create a sphere around your head and choke you to death. Yeah, if he can, like, he, but to do that, he Which has he to, could. like, but to do that, he pretty much has to, like, incapacitate the person beforehand. Like, the Earth Queen isn't moving around. Well, and no, I know that, and, I know that, like, I know. And the only other time he attempted to do it was to a poisoned avatar, Korra, that he pushed around off of gigantic cliffs and beat up. For a whole like twenty minutes before he even attempted to do the air, like the air suck from head. Yeah. So like he would have to end up beating Zuko pretty much in a fight to wear him down enough to then pull the air out of his face. Ah, uh, okay. I would okay. think like he has to at least injure Zuko to a degree where Zuko can't fight back easily to when he starts the 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 sucky of the air out of his body i don't the, like the that phrase daniel See, we'll call I'm it the head the air this. the air sphere the hair the airhead Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh yes uh i think the i don't know dude 
I feel like it. I don't think that Zuko would wash him by any means. I don't think it would be a wash. Like I think Zahir would put up a good fight, but like if Zahir tries to use his a like his flying to his advantage, Zuko has the best element to combat that. Does he? Pro- projectiles that don't run out, fire and lightning. Um, I mean, nah, he doesn't really have lightning. No, like, yeah, he you're can, right. He, he can, can redirect lightning. He can redirect it, but he can't. He can't. He use can't it. use it. You're right. Not but you. fire? Oh yeah, he can fire plume and shit. I, I mean, I agree. Like I he just needs the, to I scrap think... him once to get him to fall. I think the thing about that fight that I would. So if we're going like Zuko that fights Azula, yeah, like he's like uber patient in that fight like he's antagonizing azula to be like bring it on is that all you got Mm -hmm. kind of thing and he's like willing to like antagonize his opponent to make them fight recklessly right and i'm not saying like that is his tactic all the time but like that is what is displayed in that fight and we and, know that he has like a lot of fighting history and a lot of like fighting background of like but i will also say that i feel like he like he asks a waterbender during a full moon want a rematch <laughs> and then he asks azula during her most like crazy moments like is it the best you got like i feel like he might try to antagonize the here yeah which but like zahir is also really patient as well because that's his whole like mantra i think is to like be free and like be like one with the wind kind of thing right yeah and like i i think the big thing is i don't think he's going to be able to antagonize zahir per se but zuko's firebending can be offensive but he is also um like I'd say out of all the firebenders we see in the series, maybe outside of Iro. Oh, Iro. He's bodies. He, Zuko. Zuko is the most defensive firebender. Like he has the best defense as a firebender. I would the agree man, with that. The man got shot by Sparky Sparky Boom. Man was like fire sphere. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like no, please. And like the shot didn't land. It didn't kill him. Like it it hit his defense and pushed him off the side but he didn't like die he still had time to like get his bearings and shit like it wasn't a direct hit or anything yeah like and then when his fight with azula he just pretty much waits for her to come to him like he said and he like blocks everything she does so like i think i assume we're just pivoting to him versus the hero not him versus Junora, because we both think that fight would be a wash no oh yeah i, I picked Junora simply just because i did break the game in three minutes and i do win in my I eyes don't i win. dude like it's a cheat code i found the loophole and i won that's oh the God. best loophole <laughs> not a win <laughs> yes it is you literally left running the away in running away into the spirit world is exactly the but whole point body... of Korra. Okay, okay, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Do you really think Zuko's gonna let her have enough time to meditate yeah. and go into the spirit world? Because yeah. even She's spirit fucking Janora, it takes at least a minute or two to do. And even nah. fucking Aang, who was a prodigy too, he on several occasions when he's trying to meditate and go into the spirit world, people are talking around him, not even attacking him, but talking to him. And he's like, can you guys shut the fuck up? Like, I don't think she's going to be able to. Uh, I think she would, dude. Okay, but either way, we're going to just ignore that because that's a bullshit I, I, reasoning. I broke the game in three minutes. <laughs> I found the best gr- loophole, and it took to me disagree. three minutes. <laughs> agree to disagree. Zaheer fight, though. I think what it comes down to is if Zaheer, because if Zaheer can actually land sufficient hits. Like, yeah. I don't think it comes down to if Zuko can hit him. Because eventually, I think he's going to be able to time a shot and hit him. I don't know if Zaheer can land good hits. Like, he would have to get in close. Which I think close combat is where Zuko would thrive. Because he got his swords, and he can also do fire daggers. And he's good at martial arts in general. Yeah. 
I don't know if I would say he's better than Zaheer, because that was all Zaheer had for a while. But, like, I would say he's at least on par with Zaheer. Kazuko is one of the best martial artists in the series we see. Yeah. Especially if he has his swords. Like, the man can firebend fire and sword fight at the same time. This is true. I, I'm, I don't... I'm watching a fight right now with Zaheer. Okay. Because I just don't see a way Zaheer really beats him. I think it's not an easy fight for Zuko, but I think Zuko does end up taking it more often than not. Like a 7-3, to 8-2 to two victory type of thing. Okay. Personally, I would give him agility. I would give I would give Zaheer agility over Zuko. I would say agility for sure. Simply, simply for the fact that Zaheer danced around Tenzin and caught Tenzin off guard, and Airbenders are supposed to be the best defensive thing in the world. Like avoidance, yeah, well, yeah, like avoidance, avoidance and and agility. situal awareness. They are yeah. supposed to be the most advanced bending style, and if he caught Tenzin off guard. Just in that little situation, I'm not saying that he could do it all the time, but like, oh well, yeah, because I, during their I fight, I feel like Zaheer would be able to martial arts Zuko. I feel like he would win hand to hand personally. I think, I think that, like, like if in... it were just bare fists, no bending, I would give it to Zaheer. Oh well, yeah, if, if it was he a... looks elusive as hell, if and he was... ran away for like forever. If it was bare fist hand to hand, yeah, he's gonna well, win. Yeah, that's that's, that's that's what I'm saying now. Yeah, like, cause I like I said earlier, I think his martial arts is better than Zuko. I don't think it's leaps above Zuko's, but I think it's better. His agility, I will say, his agility is better than Zuko's. I mean, in the fight against Tenzin, he put up a good fight for a bit, and it was it was it he, was mostly just running away and showing agility. Because Tenzin was kind of washing him a lot of the yeah, fight. Yeah, he, he was really just, I mean, he was just chasing. There was, like, he was getting, like, easy hits on him, but it was more just, like, a chase scene. But I'm watching the, the real fight fight now. Because the tenzin Zahir oh, yeah. fight is, like, my favorite fight. I'm because watching. Tenzin, like, finally goes all out. I'm not going to lie, Tenzin should have died. <laughs> when fighting against the, the four of them yeah he, oh yeah he died but Very, he put he... up a good fight for a while yeah do you want to know another reason why i say zuko loses hmm. it's because zaheer beat Korra in like a half like avatar state i know that she was like induced with rage and you know like Whoa. She was poisoned. No, I know. I just said that. Um, yeah. Well, you but, said raged. I feel well, like yeah, those are two. Dude, she she very was poisoned. Things. Not I'm dude. She was poisoned. She was induced by rage. She was she was fucked up. Um, like she was just fighting him angry. That's what I'm saying. Because she was poisoned. Um, and then he beat her. I feel like that. That's like. The man's durability is like you. You think that's better than any feat that that Zuko has? I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, let me put it this way: that's if like it that's were, like Aang if... fighting the Fire Lord, because I... Aang, Aang fought the Fire Lord fearfully and then only kicked his ass because he woke like he aligned his chakras again, right? Mm -hmm. And in this one is like. Kor is in the Avatar state, full on chasing his ass down, and he runs from her and evades from her, and like backs her up into corners and like fucking puts work. Like he he beats her up, dude. He After, does. He and, destroys her. <laughs> and and I will say like he does that fight is definitely his best fight. The reason I don't think that fight is completely fair though as a like i don't think it's a bad reference to use but i don't think saying that he beat up cora is necessarily true just because for one like like we've stated she was in she was in the avatar state yes but she was being poisoned so her physical durability was down and the poison forced her to go into the avatar state while she's fighting it so throughout the whole fight she's going in and out of the avatar state 
and isn't really uh, in we don't know control. that we don't know if she's going no, they in literally and out. show her eyes go in and out throughout the fight like they blink they yeah flicker. no i I, it, I literally just saw it yeah like her eyes flicker it shows she's not in full control. She's not like actual like peak avatar state. Because I yeah, really but don't I think would Seeker I would still I would still say that that Korra beats Zuko, hundred okay. percent. But let me put it this way: I also think part of the reason that he was even able to last that long is because he just ran away. Yeah, and then it's a the whole time. Yeah. So if if Z- if Zahir and Zuko fought, his only advantage is his flight. And his like his biggest advantage is his flight and agility. I mean, yeah. I'm, so if it works, works. So he would have to he would have to employ a similar tactic. Zuko doesn't have the speed or the agility or the ability to even fly. Like, to, well, he has to, fire. Yeah, but he doesn't ever do fire jets like the way Azula does or Korra does. Yeah. Or or ozai does like he doesn't show the ability to do that yeah so i don't think he's gonna chase him i I think he would i think zuko would just wait or if he did chase him he wouldn't like full-on chase him i think he would like run up fire run up fire so like yeah zahir would be able to run away from him but he's gonna have to come back and attack him eventually because he's not going to be able to like fly up in the air like Korra did, and then he's going to swoop around and hit her as he runs away. Because half of the reason that fighting style worked is he was able to kamikaze her with his body yeah. because she was up in the air and was able to keep up with him speed-wise. Zuko's not going to be able to keep up with him speed-wise whatsoever, so he's going to have to come back down to the ground to kamikaze him, which is when I think Zuko would be able to land a good hit. Yeah, you know I, mean? I mean, I guess, but I don't think so, dude. I really don't I, think so. I just don't think he would be able to employ the same runaway and like hit I and think... run strategy. Well, that's that's his that's that's airbending. That's literally airbending is to dance around your opponent. Yeah. And to like fight them against themselves is essentially kind of airbending. Yes. And... You're not wrong, but I don't think he would be able to do it in that same manner that he did with Korra. Well, that's that's, but that is his fight. Like that's his whole stick is flying around, but and, he like, only swooping in and fighting like that. That's like that's the only thing that he does after he gets airbending is being able no. to fly. No, he literally only has one fight where he flies, and it's that fight. Well, that one, and when he, the his chick dies. He's flying he, in that fight scene. He he learns to fly at the very end of that fight scene. Yeah. He and then he flies away. Yeah. He doesn't just, actually he still fights. But, but he doesn't fight he doesn't. with flying though. In that fight specifically. You're I I it might be closer than I I, was I just don't at think first. it I just don't think it's like an eight to two, dude. It like, might be I like I think that's I think that is a little like undercutting that's a little washy yeah yeah i can a little washy i will agree because i i did forget about the cora fight and like him even being able to put up a fight in general is impressive like he doesn't win but i I do discount that fight because of those reasons i stated earlier but i don't think it's fair to discount them that much i will say he would do better i think it's maybe more of a six four yeah i would say six four I I don't I would still say Zuko wins holistically 100% mm-hmm. just because he is Zuko and I still agree but I also have to defend my boy. Oh well, yeah, I mean it's you're yeah. in the position you have to make an argument why Zuko yeah. can win. And, and I I feel like with all of his training like with the Red Lotus and stuff like that, I f- I think that he is a better hand-to-hand combat fighter than Zuko. Like yeah, yeah he has like his training but just years in general you know like zuko is still a child compared to this man and he's been running an elite like red lotus kind of shit and he's in prison for a reason you know and yeah so like, i feel like he's i feel like he's a killer without bending and then you give him bending and it's just kind of like that's terrifying you know and i but think if- you also have zuko who's a trained prince and a reformed human who's learned fire style from dragons and stuff like that. So it's like 
shit. <laughs> and I oh, think God. <laughs> I think in a hand to hand battle, it's gonna. I I think it's gonna come down to the fact that like in a hand to hand battle, yeah, Zahir has the advantage and Zahir has the mobility. I think Zuko yeah. would. I think it comes down to Zuko's gonna have to play defensive, and the fact he can redirect lightning. So, we're talking about a centered Zuko who's patient. Who doesn't he? If we're talking about young Zuko, young Zuko is gonna get washed because he's impatient as fuck. Yeah, no, yeah. That's yeah. what makes like season three Zuko so like end of season three Zuko so powerful is he uses all of his tools. Oh yeah, perfectly. yeah. He he at the end of this series, he is a very formidable opponent, and that's yeah. why it's an amazing fight between him and Azula. Exactly, and I think that the fact that he can react to lightning, I mean, that's, like, lightning speed. My only problem with the lightning one is that, like, whenever someone shoots lightning, it is very, like, telegraphed. And I'm not saying... Yeah, and I'm not saying that it would be, like, easy to redirect or deflect lightning by any means. I, I would imagine it would be the most terrifying experience you could possibly imagine. But, like... It is a telegraphed event, so it's just kind of like I'm not taking the points away for being able to redirect or having the ability to like react that quickly, but it's a telegraphed move. I would like, say he, he could tell example, when it's going to happen. I think the one example when it's not telegraphed, though, of that Zuko, because I will say against the Zula, one thousand percent. Yeah. And I mean, just I, with like how but, like but, um the Fire Lord, like ooh, I, whenever I just... he's shot lightning, it's been very like, like oh he's shooting lightning kind of thing. Well, I might need to pull up the scene again, but specifically, I was gonna say there is a scene where the Fire Lord shoots lightning at Zuko, and it's not that telegraph. Yeah, you're talking about the part when he's threatening him with the swords during the day of the Black Sun. Yes, and then once the Black Sun ends, it. It's not telegraphed, but the way that they also present it is how they've never presented it before. So, like, when he fights Aang in the very last fight, it shows him winding up, like, all of the other times that they've ever shown I think that's because it's a longer distance. Either way, I would still say that that is how it would have to happen, because they're gathering energy from the air. They have to. I feel like they have to do that. I don't feel like they could just zap lightning out of their fingers. Well, and that's the thing. The Fire Lord does, like, gather still. Like, it's not uber, uber quick. Yeah. He doesn't do, like, what Mako does and just finger zap. Like, he swings his arms around and stuff. And I think part of the reason he was able to do it that quick is because his opponent was right there. Yeah. It wasn't like he was shooting and across he, he the was canyon. Really, yeah, he was really looking for it, too. Yeah, like, he was Aang, waiting for the sun to come back. The reason why I think it's okay that he was able to do it that quickly, and I think that's a reasonable example to state, is because Aang, when Aang, when Aang was fighting Fire Lord, it was such a long distance that, yeah, he needed charge-up time, you know, to get those. And then once he charged up, he was shooting them pretty quick. Like, he shot multiple lightnings in quick succession. Yeah. And then... But in this fight, he's standing right in front of him, so he doesn't need that much charge-up time. So he does it pretty quick and shoots right away. And the reason I'm mentioning this is I I don't think it's because it's so close, and like you said, he was waiting for it. I don't think it's unreasonable to cite this as a moment. Yeah. Specifically, because they're so close, Zuko, it wasn't like Zuko had much time to react you know like zuko yeah. went like immediately ate it because i'm wa- i just watched the scene right now oh no i'm wa- i'm watching it as well yeah he immediately like the moment he started moving his arms zuko was like immediately ready for it i'm not gonna lie i don't like this scene now that i'm at, like legitimately watching it not just because it's like oh this allows my character to like be defeated by any means like i don't care about that But just in general, like, that's, like, the only time that we see lightning being gathered and it being almost liquid in this show. And I don't remember it ever looking like that. 
Oh, instead of the way it normally looks, where it's like... Well, yeah, because the way that Azula normally does it is, like, one hand round circle, another hand round circle, and that's the way that Iroh did it, and then that's the way that fucking... Uh, Ozai. Ozai does it in the last fight as well against Aang. There's none of this, like, double whippy infinity sign two-finger bullshit. I yeah. still agree with you. It's a badass move, so, like, if it's doable, it's doable, you know? I agree with you on this in this it's, situation. It's just a really It's unique. just like we never see it ever again it, displayed like this. <laughs> it, yeah. it looks like he's water bending. And then when you get to Korra, Korra lightning Yeah, that's, bending, that's just insane. Like, that's just insane. <laughs> finger guns yeah. lightning. Pew, pew, pew. Like but I think that that shows that Zuko has the ability to react I just think quickly. I think that shows durability personally. Oh, that I don't too. think it, I don't think it shows reactability because he he ate that like a champ, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. yeah, and that's partially because he was able to redirect, yeah. and that's why he was able yeah. to. But I think that also show. But I mean, you still have to. There's still a, a process you have to do. Like yeah, you can see 100%. if you pause it, he sticks out his yeah. arm oh, right yeah. away. He he to, eats it and shoots it. Yeah, yeah. Like he was he was ready to redirect it. Yeah. Um. And so I think that might make it hard for Zaheer to get quick pop shots on him because he's going to be able, he'll be ready to try to react. Plus, I think if Zaheer does try to get close to use his, uh, his like agility, I do think Zuko has the enough get off me moves to make it hard for Zaheer to close the gap enough. Yeah. Like the, like the breakdance spin. Yeah. I definitely think it's close, though. I will agree with you I, more. I, would, I, I, I think would it's say, close. Yeah, I, think I, think, I still, still think wins. it's a yeah. I think it's a six four hundred percent. I I give Zuko the win over it, but not not any of this eight two bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that was disrespectful. Uh, <laughs> that was that was rude. <laughs> Uh, this guy's a master assassin's been imprisoned without having any bending ability and you say he get washed eight to two well it was partially eight to two? <laughs> part of the reason why i feel that way is because i forgot about the chorus scene and i was thinking of specifically the fight with uh tenzin, tenzin and shit yeah because i think zaheer is a great fighter i Personally, do too man and i don't I think, think he's I that think great of a, i don't think he's that great of an airbender no, because I, I, when he I don't goes think up he against a good airbender, dude gets showed a master class in how yeah, to fight. Yeah, and that's only because he's had it for like a couple months. Yeah. But like I feel like hand to hand and like if you were to like give us a prime Zaheer years of being able to fight as an airbender, I would then say that he wins Zuko 6 to 4 personally. I would flip the stat if we actually had like a, if we a, a, an airbending master Zaheer, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like he would demolish Zuko personally because Aang demolishes his Zuko. He Aang beats the fuck out of Zuko every time, and Aang's an air master. Given yeah, he's the Avatar, but like every time they ever fight ever, he only uses air because that's what Aang does. He only uses air practically, and he 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 bodies Zuko like all the time. I will and they're say chi- they're children. <laughs> I would say that's partially because Zuko is also out of balance. Oh, and oh yeah, no, yeah, it's it's definitely fighting. story story writing and plot plot armor. I I agree with that as well. Like but... I think if Zuko is if Aang only used their bending versus Zuko like third, third and, season Zuko third season Zuko, I think the fight's much closer than it has been in any other part of the oh, show. Oh, 100%, and I and personally would st- I would still give it to Aang. I mean, lie. it's hard not to, because Aang does so he, much. He would I don't him. think I don't think Zaheer ever gets to Aang's level of mastery, though. I just do. Because... I, think, I think every airbender gets to airbender master Aang level. Well, I say, this is my reasoning why I don't think Zaheer ever gets that powerful. Like, that technically good. Yeah. Technically good. Is because Aang learned from a ton of monks. He was able to learn from others. Tenzin yeah. learned from Aang. Janora learned from Tenzin. And I think adult Janora is going to be better than, stronger than Tenzin is. Oh, 100%. But yeah. I don't think Zaheer is going to get, 
I think Zaheer will become formidable with it for sure. I don't think he would ever reach the peak of like Matt in. Yeah. I think the I I my debate against without, that without without having a master. If he got a master, yeah. Yeah. then I I if like let's I say alternate universe tends and teaches a here. Yeah. Wasted. Oh, Everyone's yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. like exactly. Yeah. But a scary I don't think a, he, a, a I powerful don't... scary airbender in my opinion can run the world. But I feel like I, they're terrifying. I will say in this alternate universe where ten uh, where where uh Zaheer is given three years, like a few years to really get in like control of the airbending and truly master it. I would say probably Zuko learns to lightning bend by that time. Because part of the reason Zuko could never lightning bend is because he was out of balance with his emotions. And he never he didn't really have time to start learning new lightning techniques when he needed to teach the avatar how to firebend or break someone out of prison or hunt down someone's mother mother killer like the dude never really had a chance hunt hunt down someone's mother in the comics yeah like (laughs) he never really had a chance to really like yeah train him finish to finish his mastery yeah to to, he pretty much like by the time he joined team avatar Zuko doesn't really improve more. If than anything, he he's has. descaled. Um, <laughs> I don't. No, in, I don't... in just in just like the arc of him losing his bending, the second he becomes part of the team, he becomes useless. <laughs> oh yeah, he <laughs> does descale. A little bit, he becomes yeah. useless the second that he becomes a good guy, and then we yeah. get the beautiful arc of him discovering We're... discovering why and everything. Yeah, because once he once he gets his fire bending back. His biggest amp from that point <laughs> forward is literally just being balanced. Exactly, and that's the beauty the dude, of it. And yeah. yeah, and that's why he becomes so much more powerful yeah, when exactly. he does join them is because he's emotionally balanced. And mm-hmm. that's why, like, if we give him, like, five years to train more and he has time to do it, bro definitely learns the lightning bend. And then I think this fight with Zaheer is also much different because now Zaheer has to deal with lightning bending. I Which agree. Is a whole different, a, I, a whole nother thing. Can I? Can I? Can I? Um. Uh. Debate slash that. You ready for this? Yeah. If Zahir were to have the amount of like, if they were to both say, okay, if we were to both say our opponents max specs, ultimate form kind of shit, like, and I this is this, I feel like this would kind of like are we talking about like zakir pratt I'm, trains I... by himself and gets like to his peak he can get with airbending yeah we're not saying zakir re- learns from tenzin but zakir no. just like his his, his peak strength. his yes. peak that he can he can evolve into himself. yeah yeah um the man learned how to fly <laughs> by himself daniel oh yeah he's, i'm not he's saying a determined he motherfucker i'm not saying he won't get good and <laughs> no, no, he'll no, no, probably no. find scrolls and stuff but that's my I thing just, i yeah. think that he i think that he would and this is just me arguing to try and get my guy more wins i this is me pulling shit out of my butt i think that he would create a form of airbending like a fighting style for airbending that has never been thought of Oh, it would be like it would probably be like street fighting. Airbending. It would be it would be weird because I mean that's kind of what he already does in the show. It, yeah, except it would be like mastered, and he could fly and suffocate you, and then all of a sudden he's in your face and like beating the fuck out of you because he's oh way, wait forget also with, been in prison for murdering people. <laughs> the the suffocating thing too, you know that boy sat in prison for so many years being like. Why don't airbenders just suffocate people? Dude, do I'm pretty know, sure that I asked you know, that as a child. You you know they can do it. Like why I'm pretty any positive of them done that this? I asked that as, as I, yeah. I thought of this while but, I was a child watching Avatar. Like, well, couldn't he just like suck the air out of all then, of the lungs and just they're dead? <laughs> and then the moment he got airbending, you have to know this guy was like, Oh, I gotta try this. Oh, 100%. <laughs> like, Not I only gotta that, try this. But like 
like the like uh you know how uh bloodbending we're not gonna get into sahir because we're 42 minutes in you so mean amon amon yeah we're not gonna get into that because that's a whole nother episode for a whole different day oh yeah by the but way like, audience we we pre-decided if any of us got water neither of us are allowed to choose amon yeah we're not because allowed that to pick amon busted. yeah because he busted. yeah yeah he's a bloodbender yes we know bloodbending is a part of water bending but no when you can uh, psychic blood bend, nothing's nothing's fair. Yeah, <laughs> nothing no, is fair. Fucking stupid. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing and it's awesome and I love it, but it's fucking stupid. Um, no, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, like with blood bending, right? Like when when fucking Core or not Core, uh, Katara learns how to blood bend, right? I then always thought like Raiders of the Lo- or not Raiders of the Lost Ark. What's the What's the episode where she... Uh, the witch episode, it's... No, where she hunts her mother's killer. Oh, The, the uh, Red Falcon or something like that. Southern Raiders. Southern Raiders, right. I said Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, Got that's em. Indiana Jones. No, I know. <laughs> I know. That's why I corrected myself. <laughs> um, But, yeah, the Southern Raiders one, like, when she's like, yeah, it's a full moon, I'm gonna go, like, fuck these guys up, you know? Like... Yeah, do Katara, like... When she bloodbends, Zuko, like, looks at her like, the fuck is this shit? Yeah, yeah. That was the first time that he's ever seen it, too. And it came yeah. from, like, like Southern Water Tribe. Like, they were both in a cave being trapped. And she's like, oh, let me try to heal your eye. And now it's, like, two months later, and she's bloodbending this firebender. Like, where are the other trucks? You know? And it's just <laughs> yeah. like, oh, God. Yeah. Where is my daughter? <laughs> Where's my mother? Yeah, like, <laughs> turns into full Batman there. <laughs> but, you yeah, know, Zuko, I would definitely, i give him the plus on this one. Well, that has been the noted debates. Here. If you hated watching us talk about the same thing over and over again, let us know. But if you Good. loved it, let us know. Good. And give that subscribe button a little tickle tackle. Please. And have a good night. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.